Welcome to St Margaret's Church of England Academy Geography Open Evening Presentation. I'm Mrs Williams, I'm the Geography Lead here, and in the department we also have Mr Pennington, who is also a subject specialist, and we both teach the A-level course. Mr Pennington teaches the human content, and I do the physical content. You may be thinking, why should I study geography? It may be the case that you've studied it at GCSE and you really enjoyed it, which is brilliant. But geography is also up to date, relevant, exciting and such a valuable subject that the Guardian newspaper named geography a must have A level in 2015. Geography marries together the world of hard scientific fact and process with human interaction and reaction through skillful applications. That is the strength. We don't study geography for the sake of it, we problem solve. We don't learn skills just to sit in a room and stare at them. We are proactive people. We go out and we fix issues. Another important reason to choose geography other than your love of the subject is employability. Geographers do not struggle to get a job. If you study geography at any level, whether it be GCSE, A level, or at university or further education, this is a good thing for you. It means that you are versatile, highly skilled, and you have a broad range of thematic and regional knowledge that you can bring to your employment. Choosing to study geography will give you a wide variety of skills which you can use after you leave school. These skills are highly sought after by colleges, universities and employers. Geography is the only subject which has field studies as a compulsory part of your qualification. And this brings a new dimension to your learning and helps you to develop practical applications of your knowledge which facilitates your personal development. These are the top 10 skills that many employers will look for in the future. Geography covers them all. From complex problem solving, critical thinking, working with others and gaining empathy with others, learning about different cultures, making judgments and decisions, and guiding your own learning through planning your own field study. At St Margaret's Academy, throughout your two year course, you will study six thematic units, which each contain several regional studies. And you'll submit a written piece of coursework, which you plan and execute yourself with the guidance of your teachers. You'll study two compulsory units and four optional units, which we have chosen for you, based on the options you studied at GCSE at St Margaret's and also to give you a broad and well-balanced geographical knowledge. These six units will then be uh, tested in your external examinations. We study carbon and water cycles. This compulsory section focuses on the major stores of water and carbon on Earth and the links between them. Understanding them is fundamental to many aspects of physical geography. This section specifies a systems approach to the study of water and carbon cycles and their central importance for human populations. The hazards section. This optional section of our specification focuses on the lithosphere and the atmosphere, which intermittently but regularly present natural hazards to human populations often in dramatic and sometimes catastrophic fashion. By exploring the origin and nature of these hazards and the various ways in which people respond to them, students are able to engage with many dimensions of the relationships between people and the environments they occupy. The Coastal Systems and Landscapes Unit This optional section of our specification focuses on coastal zones which are dynamic, 
ever-changing environments in which landscapes develop by multiple processes of erosion, transportation and deposition, and the interaction of winds, waves, currents and terrestrial and marine sediments. In common with water and carbon cycles, a systems approach to the study is specified. This compulsory section of our specification focuses on globalisation. The global systems and global governance topic considers the economic, political and social changes associated with technological and other driving forces which have been a key feature of the global economy and society in recent decades. Increased interdependence and transformed relationships between peoples, states and environments are all key issues in the media and up-to-date case studies will make this topical and engaging for you. The contemporary urban environments is the next optional section of the specification, focusing on urban growth and change, which are seemingly ubiquitous processes and present significant environmental and social challenges for human populations. The section examines these processes and challenges and the issues associated with them, in particular the potential for environmental sustainability and social cohesion. The final optional topic, Changing Places, focuses on people's engagement with place, their experience of them and the qualities they ascribe to them, all of which are fundamentally important in their lives. Students acknowledge this importance and engage with how places are known and experienced, how the character of place is appreciated, the factors and processes which impact upon places and how they change and develop over time. At St Margaret's throughout your A-level studies, we will endeavour to offer you four experiences of fieldwork. The urban fieldwork will be conducted mainly by Mr Pennington, who will take you to Liverpool City Centre and will take you on a tour whereby you can see in action all of the theories you have debated in class. You'll also gather data which will provide the basis for your individual study which constitutes 20% of your A-level. You'll also travel to another location such as the Trafford Centre or another town centre to gather complementary data to continue developing your ideas. You will also complete physical field work and during two days of field studies in locations such as Landudno Beach, a glaciated valley in Wales or a river, you'll collect information and practice techniques, gaining the knowledge and information which you'll need for your individual study. As mentioned, your final assessment will include a piece of coursework in the form of a written submission comprising 4,000 words, which you plan and execute yourself. You'll be given full support and guidance by your teachers and your field work days are carefully planned to instruct you in methods and techniques which you'll be able to reproduce meaningfully for this task. The two written examinations that you'll complete at the end of year 13 are both worth 40% of your final mark. They are each two hours and 30 minutes long. The questions are varied, some are short answer and carry three or four marks, and there are also 20 mark questions, which you must answer in the style of extended prose, similar to a short essay. This is a skill which we'll practice with you in class regularly and you'll have a large collection of model answers to revise from for the external examinations. Geography is a subject which complements many other subjects. Science, maths, humanities, languages, it's very flexible as a facilitating subject. So if you're not sure what you might like to do in the future, or you just want to keep your options open, you can't go wrong with geography. So even after considering all of that information, you might still be asking yourself, are you good enough to do geography? Well, if you have a grade five or above in geography GCSE, 
and a grade five or above in English literature, and you enjoy working on tricky ideas, asking questions, and you like working with maps, graphical information, data tables, photographs, then the answer is yes. And Mr. Pennington and I would look forward to meeting you in the future and welcoming you into the geography department. Thanks for listening.